So look at yeah. this. This is just a beautiful. And I love it when it comes off like that, like snowflake. It's just so, so beautiful. Do you like watching kind of callous removals and stuff like that? I, I, I don't think I like, I, I don't think I like it. Yeah. Um, I did, that is how I found you. Yeah. Was because I was just knew that my heels were beyond like regular human health. <laughs> So, <laughs> need, Are you calling me a superhero? Yeah. <laughs> I needed something. Not. I feel like you're calling me a superhero. <laughs> like, you know, I'm not a regular human. <laughs> Thanks. I think it's a compliment. <laughs> After years and years of trying to go to get pedicures or do it myself. So. And when they do kind of do it, does it all come off? Like, is it like a perfect heel or, or what, what, what? No, no. I've really never, I've taken it down too far before. Yeah. When I've done it myself. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. This heel, this side is a lot worse. Yeah. See the yeah, loads of fish, there's loads of cracks. I can see it all. Well, that one actually had only a few cracks, but this is just really oh, lows, which is not the end of the world. This looks like a jigsaw puzzle, like <laughs> Picasso kind of drew on your feet. Who's the one? Is it Picasso or the one that has like really weird, like really, really colorful, but like also has like triangle and circles and like really all painting has triangle and circles, but specifically this artist has. Gosh. I don't know who it is. It's like more like a modern take of a painting, but he's really old. I don't know if it's Picasso. Maybe it is. Maybe, I don't know. I'm sure somebody on YouTube will tell me. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure somebody on YouTube would say, Marianne is not Picasso, it's somebody else, like Pixie, Vicky, whatever his name is. I don't even know. I'm very bad at art. <laughs> at my artist. <laughs> So how's your blocker being along? Oh yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, it, you know, now that travel's picking back up. Yeah. <laughs> get back out there. Did you get like loads of perks and stuff before in the body or not? They don't do that in that kind of industry. They do. I mean, it is, it is nice. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's certainly one of the benefits. Um, and it's pretty amazing when you get to get you know travel for free yeah um and making the transition from free travel to like getting paid is the next big oh really job. really big. because you know you can't you can't make a living from just not from free hotel stays yeah that, yeah yeah um yeah i know what you mean well and, and that's why a lot of um travel writers and bloggers who are starting out don't have a home. Yeah. They don't pay rent anywhere or lease or mortgage and they just kind of go from free stay to free stay. That's how it used to uh, be before the pandemic. Yeah. Um, we've you know, I've never lived that way. Yeah. Because I've always had a career as well. Um, but it's been a lot of fun and just met some unbelievable people. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. But it's funny that I now think that doing content is harder than being a lawyer. Really? Oh, absolutely. 100%. It's, uh -huh. like it's time consuming, isn't it? Doing content and it's, like researching and... And getting it to be good. Yeah. It's just... It, it could be that it just doesn't naturally... It, it's such a hard way to communicate information. Yeah, yeah. I think. Especially now that short form video. Oh, yeah. Um, Loads of short form videos, right? Like, I just, like I was doing a video today on doing a COVID test. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, this is so, I was making it so boring. Yeah. And you can watch people do things and somehow it's so interesting. Yeah, exactly. I know, I know. You have to always be like on your top game, really happy, cheerful, you have to be unique. And shooting things from like 18 different angles. <laughs> yeah. That's just great things and then check back and yeah. Write about it. Yeah. Like one my own time. Yeah. Um, 
because the thing is you like what we found on youtube is that you can get like um if you don't um, constantly have like updates they push you back like they pull you back so that's why I'm always like, okay, you want to do a free video? Come along, you know? <laughs> because it takes time to do a video. The, the treatment time is, is like almost twice as long versus just doing the treatment because you have to move the camera yeah. and, 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 and adjust the camera. It's just really literally the camera, right? Making sure you're zoomed in correctly. Um, or also just, just spend 45 minutes doing your heels, right? Not like 75 minutes, um, but your heels are... It's, you're gonna be very. I, I feel. I hope yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be very very happy. I, I feel like I'm doing a really good job. <laughs> yeah, superhero. I'm superhuman. She said so. So I'm officially superhero, guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it can be quite stressful doing like if you're like a, in social media. I feel um, maybe it's st just stressful that I put on myself but like I always like try to reply to my patients or like people that write to me yeah. just feel obligated because they spend so much time watching my content and commenting you know at least I have the courtesy to say hello and stuff like that right yeah it's really um, you know I've made a lot of great friends that way yeah um, especially in this past year when there wasn't a lot of interactive person you know mm. especially for us in London yeah And you're pro vaccines, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm very, like I would pick up, I would get more. <laughs> They're doing a trial on third vaccines, I think. A third one, like having a third COVID vaccine. Yeah, doing, yeah. I mean, I've thought about getting a top up this, you know, this year, but I don't think I'm gonna get that far. Yeah, I, I would like, uh, yeah, just be careful. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I, I will say I'm not going to just the experiment, but yeah. if it comes out that we should be getting top ups, like I will definitely. Yeah, do. like sometimes you think more is better, but sometimes yeah. it's not. Yeah. And actually, a friend of mine said, because I was like, oh, I'll just get all of them. Yeah. 
Yeah. And she was like, no, that's not how it works. Like, you're going to have too many antibodies. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's why you don't, like, if you think about kids' vaccine schedules, you don't, like, keep getting them. <laughs> just because you want to. Yeah, just because you want all the vaccines. I was like, well, what if I just get all, you yeah, know, just get every time. Yeah. Just to cover all the variants. Yeah, like, this one's 60%, this one's 100. It's yeah, like, it will add up to 100. It's <laughs> hilarious. So, were the flights expensive to go to? How do you get to me? Uh, you fly to Boston. Yeah. Or you fly to New York and then up to me. Okay, okay. And actually, it's kind of exciting with the new JetBlue flights. Okay. I don't know if you saw that. They, JetBlue, it's uh, the U.S. Discount airline in some ways, uh -huh. but it's also like a really fun. I can't even think of an equivalent. Not easy jet. Because <laughs> no, they actually have a really nice business class product. And oh. They have nice TVs, and but it, it started in the last thirty years, so it's okay. not really old fashioned airlines. But they just started selling tickets yesterday. Uh huh. To um, between New York and. London. Okay, okay. So it's like a new, another option. Yeah. For okay, that's good. Because it's only eight hours. Is eight hours, is it, to go to New York? From yeah, it's like, you know, seven to eight. Yeah, that's And I, I fly to Boston, so it's like six. Okay. And then drive up to Maine. So, so it's like a good, tw what, 18? Yeah. Like door to door? Yeah. It's, I don't know, I'm trying to remember now. 18 hours? 18 hours, okay. At okay. the most. It's not too, too bad. It might even be less. Are you going by yourself? You know, like, it can take as long to get somewhere in Europe. Yeah. If you just, like, hit it wrong. Yep. Um, because the flights tend to take off on time, and it's mm. Because you guys have so much, so many those those mess, domestic flights, right? And the American 55 is so big. Yeah. So usually they run quite well. Because in England, we don't really fly to Manchester, we take the trains. Yeah. Although they're increasing flights to Newquay. Newquay? Really? Because <laughs> everyone's going to form all this time. <laughs> yeah. Well, in Portugal, there's going to be like, in Gibraltar. Yeah. Well, the, the, uh, my, one of my patients, they, he bought a flight, um, flight a couple before the announcement of the unlocking of the lockdown yeah. and, and and he said the tickets now are like three times as much as before so it's like three four hundred pounds to go to Portugal so yeah, it's just crazy it's really expensive to go to Portugal right now. it's just like <laughs> but I think yeah the next announcement is the 7th of June yeah so it'll also be fly tickets to Spain or mm -hmm. wherever else before especially if they're yeah. What do you think they're going to say? I think America will be on. We'll move to the green list. Okay, good. But America's not really taking people from... No, they will then be up to them. But cause really, the, the traffic light system is only for being readmitted into the UK. Oh, okay. You know, you can go wherever. Well, it's up to the country you're going to, whether they're taking people. Yeah, yeah. So even with Portugal, they were put on the green list before they were accepted tourists. Ah, oh, really? Okay. So then people were waiting to find out if they could actually go. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and I think the other thing is going to be just timing uh, when announcements are yeah. based on kind of which country you're going to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would not have guessed that the Maldives would go onto the red list. Really? Why? Why is the Maldives on the red list? Um, I think because of the Indian variant and the amount of Indian tourists oh, oh. there. Okay. Um, Didn't even know that was a thing, but <laughs> yeah. but I don't travel that much. But so. they've been very much like head of the head of the curve. Mm -hmm. um, they vaccinated everyone really quickly, like on the front lines mm -hmm. of, of tourism and. They reopened and kept things very safe and distant. Yeah. So that's really surprising. So strange. I know, I just can't. Like getting my mind around travel again. Yeah. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm... I think that's really sensible. Yeah. Because at, also, I have traveled during the pandemic and am about to again, and it's so much work. Yeah. Like the amount of the test, and, and it's costly with the testing. 
Yeah. Yeah, kids. Oh yeah, they need to. All your three kids needs to be tested too, right? Yeah, but it depends on what, which tests, and which countries, and what the test is for. Yeah. Meaning, if it's the test release, or you know, it depends on the traffic light system. Yeah. Is this your? Is this what you're talking about? Your on your in your video? Yeah. 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 I was like, you sound very uh, knowledgeable. <laughs> I, I do know. Yeah, we can give travel tips. <laughs> yeah. The other thing I talk about is like with points and miles. Oh yeah. So air miles and using credit cards and. Upgrading. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's much more fun than talking about PCR tests. Yeah, it, we used to. Uh, I used to use my Amex to pay for my tax. Yes. And now you can't do it. Yeah, there is a bit of a workaround. Tell me the workaround. Okay. <laughs> so, so, I can't do it still in your I will find out what. So, there's this card called Curve. Yeah. And then what you can do, it acts as a debit card. Yeah. It's kind of a Lonzo or something. Yeah. But you put a card under it. Oh, okay. So, right now they don't take Amex. Virgin Atlantic. Yeah. Uh, card. Yeah. Card. Okay. So you can put that under. So when you pay your taxes. Yeah. You can pay it with your curve debit card. Ah. And then you're getting Virgin Atlantic points. Yeah. Um, but I think there is an Amex workaround too. Really? Which I would okay. Which I would find out. You'll find out. I think everybody wants to know. <laughs> I think the UK population all wants to know about that. Yeah. Let me actually. Oh. Really? Oh my goodness. Why is it so crazy? It's gonna be so crazy. That is not good. But then the economy needs to run. Oh, that's how you get some points and Awesome. So I am just creaming this foot because so, it's a bit too dry and I'm just going to okay. scalpel it with the, uh, the cream on.
Okay. With, because it's, you know, just me, because uh, it's expensive when you do it with the whole family, but. Yeah. So it's 30,000 audios and 100 pounds. Oh, wow. More. <laughs> for 10 hours. Why not? Why not? Oh, nice! I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Don't even care that I have a mask. Yeah, everybody has to still mask, right? Do you think that's going to be like the long term kind of? I think that's long term. Yeah. When they did this promotional flight, yeah. Oh, one other one. They're doing them occasionally, mm -hmm. but right now they're still just kind of PR things. Yeah. Of a fully vaccinated flight. Yeah. Oh. All guests and all staff. Yeah. Um, and pilots and everything. Um, and, and then people will be without masks. Mm -hmm. But I think it, you know some people don't want to be vaccinated, so. You know, either they don't, they never traveled, but you can't, you know, the free, you know, like a freedom in terms of like not being discriminated. You can't like say because you're not vaccinated, you know, you can't travel, right? Oh, or absolutely. Do, yeah. yeah. And I don't think it should be because like, yeah, there's reasons that people can't be. Yeah. Um, and also our children can't be. Yeah. Right exactly. <laughs> so, um, which is which is. I'm lucky that it doesn't affect children that much. Yeah. COVID. Yeah. Do you think the way that my heels are, do they look like a diabetic person? No. Okay. So, the only way really to check if you have diabetes is by a blood test. Yeah. Because you can't just say, you look diabetic, right? No, that's <laughs> No, yeah. no, no, don't worry, I've had them. Totally yeah. Um, Sometimes you can get like people who are prone to ulcers, mm -hmm. uh, but the, the, the risk of having dry skin increases okay. because of diabetes. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was, I just didn't know what the, um, the connection was. Yeah, so it, it causes, uh, it affects the nerves and the blood flow. Mm -hmm. So if there's less, um, because it affects the nerves, it causes the skin to become more dry. And then over time, with the dry skin, it becomes cracked heels. Yeah. And then the risk of let's say you have cracks in your heels and they don't heal, uh, then it could be like, why is it not healing? I'm young, I'm fit. Why, why am I not healing? And that could be a sign of diabetes. But you're, you know what? Your cracks aren't. You're not even that bad. I would love you to come back. Like, to, you know, grow them. It's so fun doing your heels. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, if you grow them back to this same kind of state, yeah. I wouldn't mind doing it again because it's so fun doing it. But soak your feet. Don't, <laughs> don't, do, don't do it when it's dry. Like, it's just, it's just so, so it's just so satisfying to, to do it. Like, and I think you'll be like super, super happy um, once you see your heels. Um, obviously, the feeding of them won't be being soft because...